guys, it's Casey Jenkins with Hometown Realty and I am here today to talk to you about the three mistakes not to make when selling your home. Mistake one or number one, let's talk about some pets. So I love pets, I got two cats, I got two dogs, yes, it's a little crazy around here. However, when I go to sell my house, all their bowls, all their paraphernalia, all their beds, all their toys, everything that has to do with my cats and dogs will be gone, especially for pictures and for showings because I know there's people out there that don't like pets and don't like the smell of pets and even though my house doesn't always smell like uh, cats and dogs, I don't want them to have that thought in their head. And so we make sure everything's gone, especially during pictures. So, and speaking of pictures, number two, have good pictures. So you don't want some agent coming in and taking their cell phone and being click, click, click because the pictures are going to either be really, really dark or really, really washed out. And my first thing I have to do is I have to sell your house online to the buyer to get them to come to your house so then they'll write an offer and then we can bid offers up. So I need really good pictures. So we hire a professional company to come in and do our pictures. They take about six to seven pictures per room and then they marry them all together and make the room look gorgeous on the inside and then you're also able to see outside. And so it's a fantastic picture. It's very inviting and people want to come to your house, which is what we need because we want tons of offers. So, and the third thing, when they get to your house or when they ask to come to your house, be very accommodating of buyers. So buyers are going to ask to see your house pretty much at all times of the day, except for, of course, when we sleep because we're all sleeping then. But pretty much from like eight, eight or nine in the morning until usually like eight or nine at night. So be super accommodating of getting them in there because if you say no to somebody, they're usually not coming back or they're usually not going to try to reschedule. So the more open and accommodating we can be, the better the chances of we get multiple offers. Personally, I tell my clients on that first weekend we're open, I tell them to go away, go enjoy somewhere, go take a mini vacation so that we can pack the house from Friday morning until Sunday evening and have so many showings and everybody come in there, including an open house on Sunday and get tons and tons of people in there so we can get a nice stack of offers and then you get to pick which one you want. So those are the three mistakes to avoid. Y'all have a great Wednesday. Bye.